Hey guys, my name is Al, and today we have the third video of my inventory. This time around, it's all about my cheeks. So we will talk about bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. Everything, even if it's cream or liquid, everything is just in those numbers. So if you want to know what I have in my cheek collection, then just keep on watching. Okay, so here we have my bronzers, and I have a total of 37 bronzers. I know that is a lot, but I use at least one cream and one powder in each look. So, yeah. Let's start. First one is a Franken bronzer made out of two eyeshadows so this shouldn't be too hard to finish but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to this one this year then we have my the bomb girls getaway trio and I'm counting um, balm desert as a bronzer because it's a little bit too deep for me to use as a blush but you can use it as a blush if you want, wanted to. Then we have my new Beauty Act. Um, this is the iconic shimmer kit. And the bronzer is called Summer Crush, I think. It's this one right here. It's really pretty. I have used it once and I can't wait to play around with it some more then we have my pan that face palette the bronzer palette i have only three left in here i know i will get at least one more out so yeah i'm hopeful that this palette will be done next year then we have my liquid bronzer from lumena this is the watercolor bronzer in summer glow this one will be done during the summertime, so I know I will have at least one more bronzer out of my collection pretty soon. Then we have my new one of my newest cream bronzers. This is the Fenty Beauty. Uh, this is called Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. I have the shade 01 Amber. This is more of a contour, but I do count it in my um, bronzer collection. So, yeah, I use this almost daily as well. But with this one, you get quite a bit of product. So this one will take me forever. Then we have my next Conceal, Correct and Contour palette. I'm counting this dark shade right here as a bronzer. So, and the rest are concealers. So you have seen this palette once before um let's just keep going with the palettes this is the revolution pro hd cream contour sorry about the rooster um i'm counting five as bronzers or contours i'm counting these two up here and these three down there so that's five I'm really sorry about the rooster. They really like to come out and play when I'm filming. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is the Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. Yeah. Uh, in here I'm counting four pans of bronzers. It's the four on the bottom. Um, so yeah. This is really pretty, and I do think this will be the palette I'm using after I'm done with the other Revolution palette. So, there we have that one. Then we have my Icon Beauty Bronzer Contour Blush palette. And in here we have a contour and a bronzer. I need to play around with this 
in the summertime. Uh, and the pan shapes are really weird and I'm not sure if I like them. So, yeah. Then we have two more palettes and then we are going over to my singles. Next up we have my Natasha Denona Tan Bronze and Glow palette. I'm counting two bronzers in here and it's the these two right here. So yeah, I use this as a cream glowy bronzer. Last one from for my palettes are my other beauty act, it's the Iconic Contour Kit Medium to Dark. I actually forgot I had a powder in here, so I have one more powder, setting powder. So in total I have 22 powders instead of 21. Um, but yeah, these are the three uh, bronzers. I really like this one right here. Um, and this right up here might work for me in the summertime. This I do think is gonna be too dark no matter what, so I do think I need to um, franken it. I had, I was actually gonna buy the light one, light medium one, and then I accidentally picked up the medium dark one. So yeah, but I'm still glad that some of these actually work for me. Okay, singles. We have my Revolution Mega Bronzer in 01 Cool. So this is actually the bronzer I'm gonna work on after I have finished up the Hula one and after I have finished up one more in the Revolution palette I'm working on. Because this is a repress and it's not too much left. So yeah, I really just want to get this big packaging out. Then I have two from Clarins. Uh, this is from 2018. It's their limited edition bronzing compact. And this is from, I do think this is from 2019. And these are really pretty. This is in the shade 002 Sunrise Glow. This one doesn't have a name because I only think it came in one shade, but they both work beautifully for me. Uh, and you get a lot of product in them. You get 17 in this one and you get 18 in that one. And this is how the inside is looking. In this one, it's looking like that. Some flamingos. And um, yeah. I need to play around with these some more at some point. Then you have my Maybelline City Bronzer. I have the shade Medium Cool 200 and I actually have a mini, a sample size of the same exact bronzer. And I'm actually hoping to get this one out this year as well. Then we have my Hourglass. Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Diffused Bronze Light. This is gorgeous, um, but it's more of a winter shade for me, so that's when I'm gonna put it out and play with it. Then we have my Revolution Bronzer Reloaded in Holiday Romance. The packaging is really bad on this one, um, so I do think I need to get my butt in gear and try to use this one up at some point not too far in the future. Then we of course have my Positions Formula Butter Bronzer. I have the shade Sunkissed Bronzer. This is my second butter bronzer. I did finish one up either, I do think it was in 2020 or in 2019. Maybe 2019, since I bought this one in 2019. I'm not sure. Then we have my Wet n Wild 
color icon bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil. I do not like this shade, so I do think this one will be a mixing shade for me to franken other bronzers. Then we have my The Body Shop Honey Bronzer in the shade 01. This is maybe my third compact of this bronzer. It's stunning and it's a really nice light bronzer for the winter time or a contour. Um, I can use it as both. But this is so hardly pressed you need to use quite a good time to finish this guy up and then we have the ABH foundation stick in the shade chestnut and this is gonna be a cream bronzer for me and that is all of the bronzers I have I'm hoping to get one more done here I know this one will be done. I oh I forgot totally. I have the Benefit Hula bronzer as well. Uh, so that's the last one. That's the one I'm currently working on. So I know I will get that one done. I'm hoping to get one more done in here. And this one will definitely be done this year. Then I'm really hoping for this one to get some love at least. So that it can be either done... Um, by the end of 2021 or in the beginning of 2022 and this one I really want to have out of my collection so that is one two three four five more bronzers uh, I'm hoping but at least three more would be fine so next is blush, so stay tuned. Okay, so blushes. I have a total of 61. Uh, <laughs> this category has um, grown way too much over the year, but here we are. So <clears throat> let's start off with the ones that are in my current makeup basket when I'm filming this and that is the Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade <clears throat> 15 Pansy Pop really nice cool toned pink blush then I also have my Revolution Super Dew Liquid Blush in the shade um, you had me at first blush really stunning bright pink. Then I also have the Made by Mitchell Blurge in the shade Where's the SPF, really bright orangey red blush, really pretty. And then I also have in my MAC Glow Play Blush in the shade Blush Please. So that's the four single blushes I have in. I also have in one shade from my pan that face palette and that is the revolution blush palette in the shade hot spice i have finished up this guy right here and now i'm working on this one and yeah this one will be done soon that i know and i count all of these other ones as blushes as well so i have seven left in this palette Then let's go to this one. This you saw in my bronzer section as well. This is the Beauty Act Iconic Shimmer Kit. And we have two blushes right here, a coral one and a bright pink with some gold shimmer to it. Really pretty. And you will of course see this again in my highlighter section. Then we have the Balm Girls Getaway Trio. You saw this one in my bronzer part as well. But this time I'm gonna show you the Balm Springs and Balm Beach. 
these are really pretty this palette in all is really pretty i really do love it and it's good for travel when we can travel again of course but yeah this is stunning and i love it then i have my iconic beauty bronzer contour blush palette again you saw this one in my bronzer part because there is a dark reddish pink blush in this one so yeah i'm just gonna keep going with the palettes we have the buxom white russian palette in here is eyeshadow and two blushes these are really pretty and I really want to play with them, so I need to play around with this palette in general. Um, but it's a really pretty palette and again it's good for travel and it's stunning. Then we have my five MAC blushes. We have Apple Red, yes. We have Margin, we have Peach Twist, both of these are shimmery blushes. We have Desert Rose and we have Pinch Me. And these, all of these five right here are actually quite old. So I do need to get my bedding gear and use these some more. Uh, because this is colors I really do love. So, yeah, this needs to get some more love from me. Then we have my NYX Sweet Cheeks blush palette. Oh, there we go. Again, a really pretty palette. You have some shimmery blushes and you have some matte and you have some satin ones. So you have a good mix and a good variety of colors. Uh, but this is getting on the older side as well. Then I have the ColourPop Clockwork Duo. Oh, let's see if we can open it today. There we go. I do count both of these as blushes because I use the... I do think this actually is a highlighter, but I use it as a blush topper. Then we have my Natasha Nona Bloom Face Glow Palette. I only count the cream blush and the rest are highlighters. So you will see this one again. Then we have the Smashbox Halo Cheek Palette. You have two blushes in here. And they are these two right here. These are really pretty. I do love them. I actually should pull this one out for summertime because these highlighters are on the deeper side, actually. So this is a really pretty palette. Then we have my CoverFX Monochromatic Blush Duo in Pink Dahlia. This is stunning. The formula is so pretty. And I would actually love to pick up some more shades of this guy. Um, so yeah, these are really stunning. And really nice to travel with. Then we have my KVD Crush on Blush in Gamma Ray and Nova. Nova is the blush. Um, and it's straight up my alley in the shade. So I cannot wait to play around with that one. Then we have some cream blushes up next. We have my Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush in the shade 09 Cool Berry. Looks like that, really pretty. Um, but yeah, I really want to pick up some more in this formula as well. Then we have ColourPop Super Shock, Sh Super Shock Cheek in their matte formula and in the shade yes she did it's a really pretty reddish neutral shade which is gonna be stunning now in the summertime 
Then I have the Maybelline Cheek Heat in Pink Scorch. This is really pretty. I want to pick up some more colors in this one as well. And then we have my last two Made by Mitchell blush. I have the shade Peach Sugar, which is a natural peachy neutral shade. And then we have Posy Rosy, which is a nice just mid-toned pink shade. And again, I really want to pick up more of these and it just came out with some bronzers in this formula and I really want to pick up those as well so that's the liquid and cream blushes then we have my single blushes left first up we have NARS in the shade Torrid this is just a mini size so this shouldn't be too hard to use up and this is actually the only NARS product I have in my collection then we have Clinique Precious Posy this one I got in my advent calendar and again it's not too, ooh, too much product in this one so it shouldn't be too hard to get this one used up then we have MAC Modern Mandarin. This was a limited edition packaging, but I do think this color is um, in their range. Uh, or, yeah, in their normal packaging as well. But this is really pretty and I need to get back to using that. Then I have two of the Bare Minerals Gen Nude. We have that peach though and let's go nude this is one of my favorite formulas um, you can probably tell by all of the wear I have on this one I actually want to pick up some more shades in this as well I haven't used this one too much but it's really pretty but yeah I want to pick up some more shades in their gen nude formula then we have my one it cosmetics cheek product it's their ombre radiance blush in je ne sais quoi i hope i pronounced that correctly uh, but this is just a pretty ombre blush which is quite pink but that's something i do like then we have another mac one and this has just cracked in the middle right here so I do think I need to get my booty on this guy. This is the Petal Power Blush in their Mineralized Blush range. It's a really pretty pink blush with some gold sheen to it. And again, this one will be really nice in the summertime. Then we have my second Clinique blush. This is the shade 08 Melon Pop. Again, really pretty blush. I want to pick up some more shades. So if you have any recommendations on the Clinique Cheek Pops uh, for a fair, very fair skin tone, then let me know. Then we have my Colourpop and Zoella packaging. This is a self-made Franken blush which I want to use up in the winter time because it's a bit darker. Then we have the old Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter, but I use it as a, oh no, blush topper. I need to use this one up. This is in the shade Molten Rose Gold, but this is the old formula. Uh, I have the newer formula in my highlighter section. So yeah, but this one I need to get my butt in gear on it seems like um, but yeah this is really nice as a blush topper then we have my one and only Ofra blush I have the shade Bellini just a nice light peach really pretty then we have Revolution blusher reloaded in Rose Kiss it's a really nice pink, purpley blush. Of course, 
Wet n Wild in Mellow Wine. This is one of my all-time favorite reddish blushes for winter time. This is stunning. I used up one in 2019, I think, or in 2020. Really pretty. Then we have Wet n Wild Rose Champagne. This one I need to get out this year. Uh, it needs to go. It's not too much left in this one, so I do think I can do that. Last two blushes are the Makeup Geek Soulmate blush. This is really pretty. And again, it's really nice for the winter time. And then we have Bene Benefit Coralista. Again, really pretty blush. And this is also on the older side, so this one needs to get some more attention soon so there we have all of my oh no i forgot one i have a sample of the maybelline peach addict blush really pretty so i'm hoping that i will get i know i will get this one right here done i want to get some more use out of this one right here so I want to finish up at least two blushes more in this palette. And then I want to finish up this guy right here. Um, is there anything else? I, If I get that far that I have finished up a total of three blushes in here and the Wet n Wild one, I will continue on with this palette. But yeah, I want to finish up three more blushes this year so yeah that is my blush collection next up will be my highlighters so just stay tuned okay so here we have my highlighters again this is a part of my collection that has expanded too much and now I have a total of 51 and let's start up with the palettes so again, for the third time, we have my Beauty Act Iconic Shimmer Kit. I have one highlighter in here, right there. This is going to be a summer palette for me because all of these shades are on the darker side. But this is really pretty. Then we have my Smashbox Halo Cheek Palette. I have two highlighters in here. If I can open this it's there we go two highlighters again this is on the darker side so it's a summer palette for me even though it was uh, a winter collection so yeah but this is really pretty then we have my Natasha Denona Bloom face glow palette I am counting these three right here they are all really pretty and I cannot wait to play around some more with this one. Then we have my Natasha Denona Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. I'm counting these two right here as highlighters. And this is nice um, for me in the summertime. Then we have my Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I have the shade 001 Universal. This is really pretty, and I do want the number four one, which is the all pink one. But yeah, this is stunning, and I love the formula of these. Then we have my Revolution one. This doesn't have the name on it, but it's really pretty. Um, I can use these three shades as highlighters, but this one is too dark. Then we have my ABH Glow Kit Sugar one. I have some usage in this one. I have two pans. Butterscotch is too deep for me and Gumdrop is a duochrome one and it's a bit too deep for me. But these two are really nice, especially star Starburst. But this is a really pretty palette. 
And then we have my last pan that face palette for 2020 and that is the ABH Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And yeah, you can probably tell which one I'm trying to use up. And I have pan in Forever Lit and I'm almost at pan in 143. But Kitty Cat is the one I'm trying to use up. And then I'm either gonna move on to Dreamer or Forever Young. So yeah, but this is a really pretty palette and I do really like it even though these two are too deep for me. So that's all of the palettes. Now let's go on to the duos and then move on to singles and then do the liquid ones last. This is a blush and highlighter duo. This is the KVD Crush on Blush in Gamma Ray and Nova. Gamma Ray is the highlighter, of course. I cannot wait to play around with this one. It looks really pretty. Then I have two of the Wet n Wild Hello Halo blush lighter. I have the shade I Met Someone and Highlight Bling. I'm counting both of these as um, in total four highlighters because it's two shades in two separate pans in each one. But these ones are really pretty. I have only swatched them, but they should be really nice on the cheeks. Then my last duo is this Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. And again, I have one pan in here and I'm yeah, it's a really pretty duo and I do like it mostly for the winter time. My singles, we have a loose single pan. I don't know what to call it. It's um, just a Franken highlighter, really nice. Then I have two from Maybelline, it's their Face Studio Chrome Extreme ones. I have 350 Molten Rose Gold, this is Repressed, and this is the shade 200 Diamond Glow. Really pretty for the winter time, and this is an all year round kind of shade for me. Then we have my one Wet n Wild highlighter, single highlighter, in the shade Blossom Glow. I'm almost done with this one, and I'm hoping to get this one out of my collection this year. Then we have my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This is stunning and I have some massive pan on this one and I have hit side pan and yeah this is just a nice glow from within kind of highlighter. I really do love it and this is Probably one of the highlighters I will repurchase when I'm done with it. So yeah, this is really pretty. Then we have my H&M Illumination Luster Powder in Crystal Mauve. Oh, if it wanna open. There we go. Again, packaging is not good, but this is a really pretty lavender kind of shade, and I do have hit pan in this one as well. Really pretty. Then I have my two Ofra ones. I have Pillow Talk and Glazed Donut. Pillow Talk is the pinky one, and I have quite a good pan and side pan on this one. Uh, glazed Donut is more of the icy golden one and I do have a little bit of pan in this one as well. I do prefer the pink one, the pillow talk one. Then we have the beloved ABH Amrezy. Again this is more of a summer shade for me but it's really pretty. Um, and yeah, the formula of this one is really nice. Then we have the Colourpop Anzuela 
swipe right highlighter looks like that i have repressed it and i did franken it with one of the shades from her palette in this um, collab as well then we have revolution renaissance illuminate radiant in rose highlighter i'm not so sure about this one this might be on uh it's lost legs um but yeah the shade is really nice it's just a formula i'm not the biggest fan of then we have my one and only jeffree star skin frost in peach goddess it looks like that really pretty especially in the summertime for me personally and that is all of my single highlighters then i have two liquids i have the both of them are from lumena it's the instant luminizer the white one is shimmering dusk and the pink one is rosy dawn these are really pretty and i need to get some more use out of those so there you have it that's all of my cheek products done i hope you enjoyed and i'm not sure what will come next so just keep on watching so that was all of my cheek products if you don't uh, if you haven't seen it already i have a video of just my numbers uh, where i go through my numbers from the end of last year march of this year and now and i have also one video up where i show you all of my base products where i go through my primer foundation concealer and powders so go check those two out if you haven't seen them already and next up i will have my eyes so yeah stay tuned